Welcome to the second Optimum 11 24H2 release. In this video, we'll show you how a Windows X Lite build compares to a stock Windows 11 24H2 build, and the many benefits Windows X Lite can provide you with. First, let's see how much space Optimum 11 takes up on a clean install. We'll open up File Explorer and see it's taking up only 4.2 gigs. Now, let's compare that to a stock Windows 11 24H2 build and see if there's much difference. Opening up File Explorer, we can see that a stock Windows 11 build takes up 11.5 gigs of storage space, which is more than 7 gigs bigger than the Windows X Lite build giving you that much more free space to use however you please. Now we'll set up a two-core virtual machine with four gigs of RAM and compare resource use in Task Manager. The Windows X Lite build uses six background processes, 35 Windows processes, 42 CPU processes, and uses about 500 megabytes of RAM at idle, with the CPU utilization sitting at around 2%. Stock Windows 11 24H2 uses 26 background processes. Eighty one Windows processes. One hundred and twenty four CPU processes. uses 1.2 gigs of RAM at idle, with the CPU utilization sitting at around 4%. Now using the same two-core virtual machine, We'll see how long it takes the Windows X Lite build to restart. About 12 seconds is all it takes. Again, using the same two-core virtual machine, let's have a look at the restart time for the stock build of Windows 11 24H2. It took about 23 seconds, which is nearly double the time that the Windows X Lite build took. Another benefit of Windows X Lite builds is that they're completely de-bloated and include no pre-installed Windows apps. Looking at the stock build of Windows 11, you can see that it's full of bloatware and many non-essential apps.
and even though Optimum 11 24H2 doesn't come with apps or the store pre-installed, we've included an installer for the Microsoft Store that you can use to install any Windows apps that you'd like. Optimum 11 gives you more freedom and control by offering optional Defender during Windows Setup. And in Windows Settings, you'll see automatic updates are paused until the year 3000. This gives you the choice to use them or not. We recommend keeping them paused and updating manually instead to keep your PC bloat-free and running at peak performance. There's also no pre-installed web browsers, but we include Chrome, Firefox, and Edge installers, letting you decide which one you'd like to use as your default browser, instead of being forced to use the Edge ecosystem out of the box. We've also included an optional File Explorer transparency effect, which is disabled by default, but easy to enable through the Start menu, XLite Tools folder if you'd like. Now even though Edge isn't pre-installed, it doesn't mean you can't use the Edge ecosystem if you'd like to. We just prefer to offer it as an option, in case you don't. If you do want to use it, you'll be happy to know that this build has full support for Windows Search, Copilot, and Widgets, if Edge is your thing.
please hit those like and subscribe buttons to help our channel grow. Until next time, take care.